Good evening, welcome to Therapeutic Thursdays with Cornia in this new year 2022. Um, once again, I wish you a very happy and beautiful and healthy new year 2022. And thank you everyone for your kind wishes. Thank you everyone for your very nice comments on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever you've been with me during this um, break. Thank you so much. It was awesome for me. I had a very nice uh, Christmas break and a new year, very quiet at home, um, safe. <laughs> That's, I think, the most important thing yeah, today again. And yes, I've been eating a lot. I'm telling you, my brother has taken really good care about me, of me, with his cooking. And uh, I just had a dinner as well. We had a nice uh, beef bourguignon. I don't know what it is about the French. Uh, I feel quite attracted to uh, the language and the food lately as well. Um, do you like French? Do you like French people? Do you like French food? Let me know. Um, uh, tonight I'm coming up live quite um, sudden. I usually do that at six o'clock and tonight I'm a little bit late. This is because I was busy with the treatments and uh, <clears throat> organization of business. So, um, yeah, I am <laughs> a little bit later. Hopefully you can catch up later with me uh, with this uh, live. And I just, um, I, I wonder, uh, I wonder if, you know, when do we stop saying uh, Happy New Year in January? Uh, are you going uh, with this until February? Or is this only the first week of January? When does it get really awkward, actually? When, 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 when you when you say uh, Happy New Year. Um. Anyway, I think I'm still on time here. It's the first week of uh, January two thousand twenty-two, and it is a very important time to prepare for the rest of the year to think about how we're gonna spend, how we want to spend it, okay? How we want to end up, how we want to, for me is how I want to feel uh, during this year and at the end of it. I, it's, it's actually strange, I never consider it uh, that precisely. Um, and uh, uh, um, yes, I'm doing it live with you right now and I hope you can join me with my contemplations. I think it's very important. I think setting goals helps us in life. And um, even, you know, we set goals and then we make a plan how to achieve it. So, uh, for, like I said, for me, it's about the feeling, how I want to feel, okay? And uh, if you followed the um, post on uh, Facebook, I, um, I am looking forward to keep the feeling uh, from a last year actually going. Although all these restrictions last year, for me, it was very passionate year yeah, I was uh, um, I was the, it was the motor actually for me to go on to move on to do something more and uh, uh, I want I want really keep that feeling going I want to feel the passion the, the achievement the happiness the excitement the fun healthy and beautiful definitely so let me know how is that for you how you want to how you what you want to achieve how you want to spend this year have you got a plan for 
the year. Uh, last year, I remember I was planning my treatments and this year um, I'm quite sorted. Uh, although if something comes up, uh, I will probably follow if something new comes up. Um, there is a concept of uh, eyelid surgery. There's a concept of um, slimming coming in. I'm not promising any with anything yet. It's not me who's going to do that, um, but people who I'm going to work with. And so I just want to make you aware that um, what is very important in planning, okay? How do you plan actually your treatment? So of course you have to take in consideration your budget, but um, if you're looking at your face and you, you want to feel better, um, you want to feel more, useful you want others to receive you um, uh, as younger person as more beautiful person then you have to look at your face in terms of a geometry um, that triangle of youth is always upside down the face supposed to be in a triangle where like this okay i'm missing words in english right now uh, so pointy chin a little bit um tight jawline nice big cheekbones filled in temples and uh top of the head is supposed to be basically larger than than the bottom uh, with the age, the triangle turns upside down, unfortunately. So, uh, basically, the face is going to look heavier with age. We lose the bone uh, on the temple. Um, the eyes become hollow. We lose fat and the bone on the cheek. The face become hollow here. Uh, but we gain more fat usually on the jawline so the triangle turns upside down basically upright it is the well, it turns upside down so uh, the face becomes heavier at the bottom and usually what happens i see girls coming um ladies coming to the to me and um, they ask me oh can you feel in here you see these lines they bother me well, you know, it's it's fine, I can do that, but I will always suggest to look at your face from the top. Sort out, look first at your forehead. Okay, then look at your eyes. Look at your cheeks. And then looking at the lower face. This is mm, uh, how we um, look at the face from a static point of view. And this is how we sort the imperfections to make the face more beautiful. It, it's not good if we fill in the jawline and uh, the temples are hollow and the cheeks are hollow here if we become, uh, if we have a loss of fat here. Imagine this face becomes more heavy um, more white at the bottom and it's really uh, not looking nice it's looking actually more masculine than feminine so um, that is about the triangle take this in consideration and of course before you um, go for any treatments like fillers um, consider your skin have a look at your skin, the texture, the color, and uh, the structure. I always like to com compare uh, like a house, a uh, face as a house, and the furniture in. You don't put the furnitures 
into the house if the walls are not painted. In other words, it's not nice having a nice furniture when the walls are um, raw with the, you know, not painted. Uh, it all uh, comes together and it all works together. Now I need to uh, plug my phone in because I'm afraid I will soon lose the battery. So just give me a second and I hope I can, I can do it. No, um, I think I will have to hold it for the rest of the life. That's fine. <laughs> okay. No, it's not for the rest of my life, so that's okay. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a lovely evening. I hope you have a, a good start in a new year and everything is going well for you. Um, if you're looking uh, to improve your skin texture, if you're looking for improvements at your skin, um you know there's on my website there's a couple of products and you always can have a virtual consultation before you come to the clinic so we can discuss what would be the best for you and i always give a suggestions in the post what what can help please do not forget about the vitamins they are so important today okay uh we need to stay safe and we need to stay healthy the liposomal vitamins are available we just have to wait a little bit for them because they're coming from poland so the delivery takes a little bit longer time but we have the liposomal vitamins that uh, give you 80% of availability, availability in your body, not like the regular ones that give you only 15%. And uh, remember, the vitamin C is the most important, minimum one gram a day. Vitamin D is also supporting the immune system. And at the moment we have vitamin D3, K2, MK7, which is enhanced and it works better all together. Uh, B complex supporting skin, hair and the nails, also our mood. Um, I didn't uh, tag um, anyone in tonight uh, because I'm just coming live, just, it's just live, okay. Um, I will do inform you if I have any events coming up, any more important events coming up, I will tag you in and I will inform you. I thought it's just a life and if you catch up with me later, it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm really looking forward to see some of you uh, very soon. I uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to reveal any names. Um, as long as you don't do it yourself, I will not push you to do it. Uh, here is the official site. It's like still a private group. I want to remind you it's a private group. And actually nothing gets out outside the group what is said here uh, only the people who are on the group can uh, can listen to it can uh, comment and can uh, see the posts and uh, all the members of the group are carefully chosen by me there's no random people everyone is uh, either my friend or my customer uh, yeah, family as well. <laughs> so it's a really close, uh, small group actually. Of course, not every customer uh, of mine is on the Facebook group. Not everyone has the Facebook. Not everyone wants to share his insight on Facebook. And this is understandable. So we're staying a small group. And I will continue like that for you. Um, now, please. Um, if you're listening to this, um, type in the comments, um, write your insights, 
tell me what is your goal for this year what would you like to achieve and how will you achieve it uh, it can be a feeling it can be um, something that you're dreaming of you know make it real uh, put this um, up front of you uh, at the front of your eyes like virtually and uh, make a plan to get there so like I said for me is the feeling I know how, how I want to feel maybe you know what would you like to achieve what are you working on oh this one this one is a good one because if I uh, talk about this feeling and you I don't know. Do you want to know actually how I'm going to achieve it? I'm going to tell you now. Uh, this year, uh, the excitement, all the achievement, feeling and so on, that was all built up because of the restrictions and I pushed really through. I wanted to bring to life the retreat, uh, wellness and beauty retreat. And... Uh, and I've and I've done it not by myself. I've done it with the help of my brother. I uh, had the help of uh, Richard from Richard Crawford Small, who is uh, my business coach. And um, but yes, we made it real. So uh, this year in May, the retreat is going live. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen. We are fully booked for May. And at the same time, we are open for the September bookings. So here you go. If you fancy joining us in September, let me know, type in in a comment. It will be lovely to have, uh, finally, girls from the group. At the moment, uh, we are coming as uh, from the uh, industry as the aesthetic practitioners, aesthetic entrepreneurs, plus um, my friend and my brother and uh, yoga teacher. Everyone is actually from the aesthetic entrepreneurs group. Um, and in September, we hope to have more of my clients only so I can guide you guys uh, to feel your best. But it's not a time to advert uh, for the retreat. That will be about, about this another time. What I need tonight is from you is just a comment. What is your goal this year? What would you like to achieve? How would you like to feel? What would you like to... How, what are you going to change to achieve it? Or if you are not a feeling person, if you are more logistic person, tell me what would you like to achieve? Okay, and I'm looking forward to hear from you. Um, this is all from me for tonight. Have a lovely evening. See you soon.